we take a break, about 90% of people say they buckle up in the front seat, but that number drops dramatically when people ride in the back. Now Uber is trying to change all that. CBS's Daniel Nottingham reports. This is what can happen when you don't buckle up in the back seat. This family of three was thrown around when the cab they were riding in was hit by another car. While most people wear a seatbelt in their own car, a report out last year found only 57% of passengers buckle up in the back seat of ride hailing services like cabs, Lyft, and Uber. Uber riders we talk to say they often just forget. When it's the front seat, definitely, I definitely put it on because I know it's a, the law. But if I'm in the back seat, to be honest, I really don't. It's funny because in my own car, I always would put one on. But when I'm just jumping in an Uber, I don't always think about it. Uber just launched a new campaign to change that. Customers who book a trip now receive a message on their Uber app reminding them to buckle up. We want to do our part to help encourage this new social norm where people automatically think to buckle up. Uber's Nadia Anderson says passengers in the rear seat are three times more likely to die in a crash if they're not wearing a seat belt. For some reason, people think that getting in the backseat is safer or they're in short trips, they don't need to buckle up. Uber driver Mauricio Terrazas likes the new campaign because he knows what can happen. This crash test video shows an unbuckled rider slamming into the driver. In case of an accident, you know, they'll bounce around the car. Even if I'm buckled up, passenger can end up hitting me. Drivers will also get messages on the app encouraging seatbelt use, something Mauricio already does. Danielle Nottingham, CBS News, Los Angeles. And four out of five people admit they don't buckle up in the back seat on short trips.